Hey, what's up you guys? So while I'm waiting for my second hand transform, which is gonna happen in uh, four weeks actually, in June, really soon, I'm sure most of you are really curious how my second hand transform is gonna turn out and how everything gonna look in terms of planning and design and uh, post operation, etc. So if you're new here, make sure to subscribe to the channel, check out other videos uh, on my channel about hair transplants and also about hair loss. And speaking of hair loss, today we're gonna be talking about a cure for hair loss. <laughs> Most of you probably know already by now, I hate bullshit, which means whatever I'm talking is legit. So in this video, we're going to be talking about legit things. By the way, don't mind my hair is a little bit wet. I just took a shower and uh, it's, uh, yeah, it's still drying out, to be honest. And I just, you know, pu pushed it back. Uh, yeah, it's pretty long. It's uh, one of those annoying things having a long hair. It dries really slow if you're not using uh, any hair dryer. And I'm this kind of person that likes to prevent the issue that's about to arise, you know what I mean? So for example, jumping on finasteride before you start losing a lot of hair, if it's male pattern baldness. And in terms of hair transplants that I'm really passionate about actually, uh, it's all about doing a proper research, going to a good doctor so you don't screw up because you know, our donor is finite, if you screw your donor, it's basically game over. There is, there is no you know, way back. And while most of the scientists, they're trying to pr find a cure for baldness by you know, finding a treatments like topicals or uh, like you know, any other, like a cloning or whatever, nobody is really going deep into actual root of baldness, which is a genetic. And scientists actually found uh, ways to uh, manipulate our genes. And I'm not talking about genes as of genes. I'm talking about genes. CRISPR-Cas9 is a genome editing technique, basically. They are trying to find the, the best way to manipulate the DNA to cure diseases, things like Alzheimer's, for example. CRISPR-Cas9 gene editing system allowed scientists to make targeted changes in the DNA, which involves cutting DNA strands, uh, leaving the basically a permanent uh, changes in the, the DNA uh, sequence. The main problem with uh, CRISPR-Cas9 is that it's changing your DNA permanently. There is no way to reverse it. And since they don't know how to manipulate it so well, so precisely, let's say, it can get more harm than good, basically. And while CRISPR technology is not new, it's been already for like a year, like over a decade, if, I, if I'm not mistaken. Exciting thing came out this year, in 2021, in April, which they called CRISPR on and off. What does it mean? They found a way to uh, manually, manually switch on or off a certain specific gene in your body. And to their surprise, they found that they can change pretty much every single gene in your genetic code. In a paper published online on April 9th, researchers described a new gene editing technology called CRISPR off that allows researchers to control gene expression with high specificity uh, while leaving the sequence of the DNA unchanged. The method is stable enough to be inherited throughout hundreds of cells divisions and it's also fully reversible. The big story here is we now have a simple tool that can silence the vast majority of genes. Think about it, if this find a way to specifically target the balding gene and turn this gene, this gene off, it's a cure for baldness. And they can also do it with uh, multiple genes at the same time without actually damaging the actual DNA. So I first heard about epigenetics like, uh, I don't know, many years ago. In It was around 2000, maybe 13 or something like that, 13, 14, uh, from someone really online. And uh, the whole idea of epigenetics is to silence uh, specific genes in your body that look to kind of turn them off. But at that point, it sounded like a too good to be true, to be honest. And uh, I really didn't dig deep into it too much. But since I saw this news with CRISPR on and off uh, system, this new system that basically it's been published just now, like a few weeks ago, it completely blew my mind. Of course, all of this is just in infancy. It's like, it's nowhere near to be used you know, in a human beings, let alone, you know, for a general public. It's great that most scientists are trying to find, uh, 
you know, the treatments for hair loss. And I think eventually our main goal is not to find the best treatment for hair loss, but rather to prevent the hair loss altogether. Scientists actually before that they found a little bit different system that they called CRISPR-A and CRISPR-I. What it means that it, it was working in a very similar way, but in order for them to work in cells, the cells had to be continually expressing artificial proteins to maintain the changes. Meaning, they still don't know really how they're gonna, you know, implement it in the human beings, but most probably it's gonna be something like an injection that's gonna, you know, they're gonna inject those RNAs into your body that's gonna go and, tar and find the, the targeted DNA and change it, or let's say express it. With this new CRISPR of technology, you can express a protein briefly to write a program that's uh, remembered and carried out indefinitely by the cell. It changes the game, so now you're basically writing a change that is passed down throughout cell division. In some ways, we can learn to uh, create a version of 2.0 of CRISPR-Cas9 that is safer and just as effective. I can do all of these things, other things as well. So this is really exciting news, to be honest, if you think about it, like, a basic switch off button. Okay, there is a hair loss gene, switch it off. Now, I don't know how it's gonna work if this technology will be applied to someone, for example, like me, that has already this, you know, hair loss and loss his hair. I don't know if we're gonna switch it off, I will start to grow back my hair, or is it just gonna stop from further hair loss? And I can't really wait to see more uh, studies into it, like how exactly it works and how they're planning to deliver and how it could potentially work in the human beings for hair loss specifically. Of course, uh, you know, <laughs> hair loss is like the biggest issue for us. There are other, you know, diseases that are more important to cure, to cure like Alzheimer's, you know, or someone with the HIV, for example, or not. So like, you know, hair loss, I, I don't think hair loss is going to be the first one, but eventually they're going to be a scientist that will that are specializing in hair loss, they're gonna take this system, if they're gonna be able to, if it's not patented or whatever, and to use it to research how to implement it into the hair loss world, basically. So that's really exciting news. The way I see it, it's likely gonna happen, maybe even in my lifetime, hopefully. That being said, let me know in the comments down below what do you think about this. I'm personally really optimistic and cannot wait to see more information emerging uh, on this the whole overall, you know, CRISPR on and off system and how we could possibly implement it in our, you know, hair loss, basically, journeys, if it's gonna happen in our lifetime. And, and of course, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this one. And while we've been talking here about the future of hair loss, uh, check out the other video where I talk, talk about what you can do right now to prevent further hair loss and possibly reverse as much as you can. I'm gonna put this video just over here. Go ahead, uh, check it out. So yeah, make sure to subscribe so you stay tuned for my second hair transplant that's gonna happen really soon. My journey is gonna start really soon in just four weeks. I'm gonna be uh, documenting pretty much everything, maybe even possibly during the surgery, who knows? Let's see how it's gonna go. Uh, thanks much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.